I'm already emotional just because it's amazing here. Have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Good morning guys and gals and welcome back to gals. <laughs> the new video here in Sagada. Today we are heading on a tour around Sagada. It was 1170 70. 70? Yeah. 1170 pesos for both of us um, and we're going to, to be honest I can't actually remember the whole itinerary. I know we're going to a church um, we're going to see the, hang the hanging coffins and another hike somewhere else. Yeah, and um, maybe something else. Um, yeah. But we're just going to. It's going to take around four and a half hours to five hours, apparently. Yeah. We are going to head down to get breakfast now and we'll speak to you guys in a bit. Breakfast has arrived and I've got myself toast and a couple of vegetables, <laughs> uh, egg and bacon. Rona has got herself rice with an egg and tomato and cucumber too. And they have uh, the banana ketchup, which we haven't had before. I like ketchup normally, so... So we are starting our tour here with Brenda, and Brenda is our guide for the day. Oh, okay. We're having our tour with Brenda here, and she is our tour guide for the day, and she's so nice, so friendly, and we are... Where are we heading to now? We are approaching yeah, the, the church, the St. Mary the Virgin Church. Oh. Right, so we are going to the St. Mary the Virgin Church. Um, and we've just walked through the centre of Sagada town. After the church, where do we head to next? Uh, the traditional burial ground. And the, uh, we're going down to the uh, coffee farm. Oh, okay. After the hanging coffins. Yes. We're going down to the coffee farm and uh, the, uh, to the uh, entrance of the underground uh, river. <laughs> and uh, on our tour today, we also have another friend. <laughs> this is Boomer. <laughs> who is so following us the whole way <laughs> so we're here in the Virgin of St. Mary Church and you're very blurry yeah, we're talking very quietly because it's really silent in here. But um, the construction started in 1917 Dinch. and in 1923 it was finished with the construction. The stained glass in this place is so beautiful mm. and it's so peaceful here as well. And it's got, a, a, it was a German architect who designed, designed the place. The place. Um, apparently this kind of shape of the church you see a lot more in Europe. Um, yeah. Very impressive. Yeah, and we are headed on to our next stop now. Death here in Sagada is associated with the uh, uh, rituals, mm -hmm. associated with butchering of animals. Mm -hmm. In remembering our dead during All Saints Day, Instead of using candles, we used pitch wood from uh, the pine trees. Okay. The raisin, on her uh, raisin part of the uh, of the tree, where mm -hmm. you can find it uh, mostly at the roots. Uh, that even if it is raining, you can uh, it is still uh, flaming. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. This place, all all those graves, you can imagine it has all uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. burn uh, has uh, set bonfires on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the graves have their reserved sort of 
slot next to another one and that's for if they have a, a spouse, a wife or a husband who's still alive. Um, when they pass they will, even if they remarry, they have that slot reserved and they'll go back there next to their screen. When you're just walking around, it's so peaceful and it's so nice just to the scenery around us. It's such a cool mountain air and it feels so fresh to breathe in. <sighs> Lovely. breathe again the drone's back safe and sound on the ground whenever Craig flies it I get so nervous thinking I'm just going to see it drop out the sky professional flyer over here <laughs> on to the next stop now which is the traditional hanging coffins yeah, yeah. So we have just been to one of the oldest coffin burial sites. That's how they originally did it before the Sagada population grew. And because of the population started to grow, and animals started to become more uh, prominent in Sagada, they decided to start hanging the coffins to stop the animals um, and other things from getting into the coffins. However, as you can see in that one, the skull um, the water from the cave entrance has decayed the wood causing the skull to appear and they basically leave them how they are because that's nature and they want to be closer to nature. just leaving the hanging coffins and Brenda was explaining that not just anybody can be buried in the coffins themselves and there is a certain ritual of life that you have to follow before you can be buried. The reason why they do this is to be closer with nature because people here in Sagada want to be close to nature and just walking around in this part of Sagada, you can just see how beautiful nature is here. We are now just on our way to the coffee plantation and we will get to see how the coffee is made here in Sagada. So we are currently at the coffee farm and they have these huts here you have one two and three up there but they haven't been used for around about two years but you used to be able to climb these roots all the way up to the very top but I'm petrified of heights so I'm not gonna be doing it um, but uh, that would be so cool sitting here having your coffee looking over here to husk the coffee they have this water and then we have over here these pestles and they are huge. Look, look at that compared to the size of my arm. It is massive. So 
we're just walking through the valley at the moment and heading to the underground river and it's getting to midday heat it's getting very hot boomer is still booming around like nobody's business so the debris in this tree here brenda was just saying that the uh, water can reach that high and, and nice. obviously it's all the way down here at the moment so during rainy season it can go to here which is absolutely crazy according that we are oh, i can't even reach that high <laughs> so we would be in sunk in the water at the moment probably Drowned. drowning <laughs> so brenda is just cutting some sugar cane So how do you eat that? Uh, removing the skin. Yeah. And I think I believe you have good teeth. Uh, yeah. Very good teeth. Like me, which has uh, a false teeth. <laughs> not good. This one's not good. Yeah. We will wash it. First. Okay. So we are currently at the underground river entrance, and it's so cool in here so much cooler than it is outside here is my stain and i'm going to put it right there and rain is putting hers there too hey have a good time yeah good doggy water water want some water yeah yeah Yeah, you like that? Yeah. I actually feel like crying. I just said to Craig, I feel really emotional just because it's amazing here. Like, look over there. So you sort of and then just suck it and suck it okay so this natural sugar kit so this is the thank you sugar cane. yes that <laughs> oh. thank you. so Try. the way that you eat it is it's you like the juice bite on it and then you suck it and you suck all the juice and it's like a natural sugar so we so never try oh no look it's dripping that's up is it sweet That's so good, is it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sweet. it's sweet. <laughs> yeah, sort of crush it to get the... Yeah, so you have to like, get it right in the back of your hair. And it goes like that and you suck it. And yeah. <laughs> get all the juices out and obviously people make sugar cane juice by putting it through a, like a roller and then yeah, it squashes it down that. and then you get all the juice that comes out of there as well when you do it this way you get loads of bits in your teeth we have walked from here all the way down and back up that's incredible we're now back on the main road. Boomer has been with us every step of the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Yeah, it's been a very good day. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Salamat. We've just got back from our tour with Brenda and it was honestly amazing wasn't it? We've had the best day ever. Mm -hmm. um, we learnt so much from her and it was just amazing. Mm. It's so peaceful here, I can't even express it enough, we absolutely love it. Um, we just got back and went to the shop next door 
to get a really cold Coca-Cola ice pop. Yeah, cheers. Which is so good. We're gonna end this video here and we hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed our day today and yeah, we're just so happy. My arm's about to fall off. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving my little cola pop. Um, oh. If you're uh, coming to Skyla, make sure to do this tour. Make sure to get the cola pop. We and, tried sugar um, cane. Yeah, we also tried some sugar cane. But if you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and let us know in the comments if you've ever been to Sagada or if you would like to come. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Why do you always put it on me then? You just got to say bye and then you hit the screen. Bye. <laughs> bye.